us to hate and bigotry, there is a cure. And that cure has been and always will be love. So this walk today was more than just about getting out, practicing free speech. We're out here sweating, walking, chanting, etc. I want y'all to take that same energy that y'all utilize to come out here, same way you got some of you got your families, your kids out here, and take that same energy and teach them lessons about love and acceptance and responsibility and diversity and inclusion consistently. What I'm asking each of you is please don't let this energy die. We have seen this so many times in the past. We have marches and then everybody goes back to their life as it was. And one of the reasons for that is it's difficult to make systemic change. We have issues, funding of mental health, funding of education, dealing with homeless, looking at housing affordability, workforce development, transportation, things that have been broken for decades and decades. It's up to us to change it. It's up to us to make those changes that will last forever and we will be able to pass on a city to each of these young individuals out here that we are very proud of. I'm proud to, to live in the city of Tampa. I think it is an amazing city and I hope each and every one of you are proud to live here as well. But there are changes that need to be made and we have to make them as a community.